Hey everyone, um, I think I'm starting a new vlog right now. I wanted to document the first 24 hours with baby Sag. Um, everybody's asleep now, it's 11.30. I've had 30 minutes of sleep so far today. <laughs> um, we had so much, we had such a nice afternoon resting and bonding and just getting breastfeeding established. So now that that's done, I want to vlog through the night and in the morning. Tomorrow, um, Cody's sleeping beside me. Baby is right here right now. I need to take advantage of this and lay down and go to sleep. Um, Grace and build a bed in our room. <laughs> I was just watching back the footage from his birth. Um, it was just so surreal. Like it just happened so fast when it happened. Um, I don't know. It's just so precious that we got to capture that. Absolutely, I'm on cloud nine. Okay, so breastfeeding is going really well so far. His latch is not the best right now, but I'm not worried about that at the moment. We'll do that tomorrow. Um, right now, I'm just, like, focused on him getting the hang of breastfeeding, opening his mouth big enough, and actually just waking, being wake, more wakeful enough to nurse. So, um... This evening, like tonight, he nursed for like four long sessions. Um, after really having a sleepy, sleepy evening where I couldn't get him to wake up enough to feed. So that makes me feel a lot better and I feel like I can sleep now. Um, because I was just worried about him. He was still like kind of puking up some mucus and stuff from birth. But that's all done now and he's, that's why I wasn't filming. Um, I was just stressing out a little bit. But he is over that hump I think and he's had really really good nursing sessions he's had lots of diapers already which is amazing he had 24 hours to do one pee and one poo he's done like 6.30 diapers and like two wet ones so that's amazing um, so yeah I'm gonna lay him beside me and get our bed all safe and ready for sleep and then I'm going to set myself a timer and have a little sleep myself for like maybe an hour and a half before I wake him up if he doesn't wake me up first. I'm feeling really, really good. I've had enormous plates of curry today. I feel so nice that I can just eat and not have heartburn. Um, I'm drinking a ton of water. I think I'm on bottle like five of the day. I don't know. I get so thirsty when I breastfeed. I think he's figured it out though and he's like trying to bring my milk on. So that's good. No idea when my milk will come in, but um, I've only had to take my cramp tincture. I took it twice, three times today. And I haven't taken it in like like six hours. I'm feeling fine, so um yeah, I'm probably my best postpartum so far. Like, I'm, I've always had pretty good postpartum healing-wise. Um, but this one's easy-peasy so far. So, we'll see if I get any cramping in the night. Maybe this just works really well. Tastes like absolute ass, but it seems to work well. So, I'm going to go get some sleep, and I'll see you when he wakes up next. Oh bless you. Oh bless you. 
Yeah. Okay. Good morning, officially. It is 8.42. Um, I got a text a little bit ago from my midwife saying that she is heading my way first this morning. Um, so she's going to come over when you have a midwife. Um, again, like my whole pregnancy, all my appointments have been home. All my postpartum appointments will also be at home. So he was born yesterday and she'll come today at the, you know, she comes sees him when he's 24 hours old and then she'll come back tomorrow and then probably after Christmas in like three days or two days, I don't know, a couple days um, and then I don't know if we see her again before it moves to weekly and I see her up to six weeks so she'll come over um, so she's gonna come check on him but we had a really good night, I didn't get a lot of sleep but that's okay, like he didn't he wasn't up a lot but um we're just figuring out nursing right now and he was really sleepy yesterday evening so getting him to latch was taking him a really long time and it was it was just tedious right so um basically every time he rooted or anything I was latching him last night just to get that established so my milk can start working on coming in yeah I feel fine though like I will just need a nap today and I'll I'll be all good um he did progressively much better that it was a little stressful last night in the evening because um he still had mucus in him in his stomach and they can't digest mucus from being born so they'll like throw it up but like he didn't understand like he he was like kind of gagging and choking on it and it was freaky so um once we got kind of past that hump and that stop that was a lot better and then Actually, about 2.30 or 3 a.m., he started to get, um, well, yeah, after, well, then he was, like, ganging on mucus, and then he, like, I was having the worst time trying to wake him up to nurse, and it's normal, but, like, still, I, I wanted to nurse him and get him, you know, get in some fluids and get all that colostrum. Oh, bless you. And then around 2.30 or 3 a.m., he's really started to, like, root and want to nurse a lot, so that was really good. And he had lots of diapers, so really, really good. Um, we did get a couple stretches of sleep. The only reason I didn't get, like, usually, um, I think he'll be pretty, pretty similar. I think we'll get about two to three hour stretches with him before he'll nurse. Um, 
but because of like the gagging, so sometimes when he lays on his back, it it'll make him have that little gag session for a minute. So that'll go away probably by today. But um it was just making me a little more hyper alert. <sighs> so anyway, Cody is off to go get breakfast. And my midwife is about to come. Yeah, we're just blissed out. Hey. We had a great first night, didn't we? Yeah. I put socks on his hands because he was scratching his face. And I didn't bother buying baby mittens because I never used them for very long. But he has very long fingernails. We'll have to do something about that, hey? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. You are so cute. I've got them all bundled up because it's like still minus 46 outside or something. No, I think it's minus 40 today. Um, it's really cold and keeping him warm is super important. It's tough to keep babies warm in this kind of temperature. So, this is helping, hey? Oh, excuse you. hiccups every day in my tummy oh goodness I knew you were gonna be a hiccupy baby Cody just brought me breakfast I'm so hungry all the time I just when I'm breastfeeding I just get ravenous like it's so much worse than when I'm pregnant <laughs> My midwife just showed, just came. I think she's in the driveway still. Like Cody just met her at the door, um. So she'll be up in a second. But he's just nursing. I'm gonna eat some breakfast and visit with my midwife. Okay, it's dark in here. I know it looks like it's the middle of the night, but that's just because we have blackout curtains. Um, <laughs> so the uh, my midwife just left, and she just came for a really quick visit. She just saw us first. We live further away than like she works in a really large area. Like, she covers the entire city and surrounding areas. Um, so, we're kind of, like, the farthest, one of the, probably one of her furthest, right? Mm -hmm. On this side. Um, so, she came to us first, and we had a little visit, and she took off his um, umbilical cord thing. I know I said we were going to do a cord burning, um, but the kids were, he had a really thick cord. Like, a really, it, it was full of Wharton's jelly. Like, it was, like, so thick. It was surprising. Um... And the kids weren't super keen on burning it in the moment. And so we were like, okay, whatever. And Cody was like doling out curry, right? No, I was cleaning up. Oh, uh, he was draining the pool. or Oh, right. Because the, like, they were in the middle of draining the pool. And um, the hose was like, what? Uh, <laughs> out of the sink. So he was in the middle floor. of cleaning it. And like the kids were like too freaked out to cut the cord. So I ended up just cutting his cord. Um, anyway, so she came and like took his clamp off today and checked him and then she's going to come back tomorrow morning as well and then after christmas so very very sweet but he's doing so well she's super impressed with how he looks and how he sounds and he's warm and pink very good and cody fed me breakfast he got me a and w well he got the whole family a and w but like i can't even explain the amount i can just put away right now like got me a nice coffee and he, then he brought me up a pile of snacks because I could, I could literally just eat all day right now. Just keep eating, bro. All right? I want to weigh myself, see how much weight I lost, though, in one day. I should, I need to go check, just out of curiosity. <laughs> um, but yeah, Cody and I, Cody just plugged in my computer um, to the TV so that I can have access to my computer. So if I feel like editing, I can. I'm not going to push it. Like, I'm not trying to get the birth vlog out right now or anything. Um, but it's just nice because we can like do computer stuff. So Cody's in the Grayson bed right now. <laughs> Grayson built just a nest. Out, we got life. Kenzie with us. Hi. <laughs> She's addicted to the baby. Who's not? Grayson is also, but like he's, he'll come in bursts. Yeah. 
He's more reasonable. Grayson. So he probably won't leave us alone. Grayson's like, I'm going to go play games for like an hour, then come bug you. Yeah. So, no, it went really, really well. I just wanted to update you guys. Nursing is getting, um, like, better and better. He's just doing so well. He's just sleeping calm. Like, he hasn't cried yet, really. Like, he only cried the once when he was kind of, like, getting, ex expelling some mucus from the birth. But he's just chill. The sock hands are cracking me up, Cody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to watch uh, some Will Ferrell on Hot Ones and and enjoy. Yeah. Isn't that weird, though? Hey, how, like, we see Will Ferrell. Kenzie sees Will Ferrell, and she's like, isn't that Buddy the Elf? Yeah. And, like, that's the reference oh, point? it's the guy from Step Brothers in old school. <laughs> really? And, like, Talladega Nights. Not that quiet, but I'll take it. No, still not good. I'm not going there. Join my floor squat, Mackenzie. I'm going to come back after. They'll switch after. You're going to turn into a shaker with your giggles. It's actually really good. So, in protest of the 100 point system, I decided to. I'm just an absolute baby bliss right now. Filming the wrong way with no tripod. Sorry. So Cody has Zag. They're having a nap. And um, I'm about to have my first sits bath, but I want to show you. This is the postpartum tea bags that I made. So these are like special herbs and salt and then there's a cup of epsom salts in here as well so just like literally a little bit of water and i'll soak in this yeah helps my healing Cody just brought me a beautiful dinner, mashed potatoes and meatballs with gravy and broccoli. This guy sleeping. Oh my god, I'm so hungry all the time.
Okay, you guys, I think this might be the last clip of this vlog. It is now 10 o'clock, 10.30 um, at night, and we are going to go to sleep for the night. Well, we'll attempt to go to sleep. You go to sleep. Grayson's built himself a nest on the floor and is sleeping in our room. Um, Zag is letting me put him down for a second. So, just trying to keep him really cozy and warm and see if he'll sleep for a second. Like this, um, he's currently cluster feeding like mad. So, um, I'm still doing really well. Um, it has been slightly challenging, the cluster feeding, but it was, I don't know. I'm, I don't want to like lie and say, oh, everything is super easy. It is a slight challenge, but I expect this so it doesn't feel hard. Um, cause I've gotten probably like maybe four hours of sleep since my water broke at 4.30 a.m. yesterday. So, um, we're now... What, 36 hours in, so four hours of sleep in 36 hours about? That sounds harsh. I'm, I'm surprisingly fe feeling really good. Like, I've been eating and, like, like, I nap when I can, but he's been cluster feeding so much that every time I put him down, he starts rooting like crazy. Um, So, we're, I think we're kind of coming down to a bit of a pause. He's just trying to get my milk in. Day two is really, really important because day two is what tells your body how much milk it needs to bring in. So answering all these cluster feeds is super important and vital to make lots of milk. So that's what I'm doing. And I know it's like, it's not gonna last forever. When my milk comes in, um, he'll be way more satisfied, obviously. And the work we're doing, breastfeeding every hour right now or 45 minutes is making his latch better making his nursing better <laughs> i'm gonna put you down to talk to you for a second <laughs> see literally every time so like this is why i'm not getting any sleep right now because every time he falls asleep and um I move him from my arms. He starts rooting again and he wakes up and he's like, I need to move. But that's okay. Again, this part doesn't last forever. This is a tricky part. But I'm still running on that birth high so I don't feel tired. Like, I, I know that I need to take care of my body, which is why I haven't left my bed today. It's been a very cozy, quiet vlog probably because of that. Um, I've literally just gotten up to use the bathroom and to have my sits bath. And that's it. Hi. Um, I'm keeping him bundled up a little warmer with a hat and stuff. Normally I wouldn't do that inside, but it has been, you know, minus 45, 46 degrees Celsius for the past two days. So it's been very cold. Even though our house is warm, it's still a little bit drafty. Like there's ice on all our windows. Like it's just chilly. So I'm trying to keep him nice and toasty. Nice and toasty, hey? Um... Cody has been doing an amazing job keeping me fed and happy. He's struggling with his gas a little bit right now. He doesn't know how to process it. So every time he needs to have a burp, he kind of does that, that sound that you just heard. I know. We'll get it out. Let's get it. It's coming. Here it comes. I can feel it. Oh, there it is. I know. Oh, there it comes. You did it. Good job. You did it. Oh, bubs. Great job. Gurgle, gurgle. Because he's learning, he's a little bit gassy today, just a little bit, just because he's learning to nurse and get that latch right, so he swallows some air um, on his, some of his first attempts. If I have to relatch him and break the seal and everything, right? 
but he's so sweet and he's doing so well. And again, my postpartum is going amazing. This evening, I've had to take my cramp tincture again. I talked about this in my... If you guys want to know like what I'm doing postpartum, definitely go watch my preparing for home birth and postpartum video that I did a couple of weeks ago. I talked about all this stuff, what it's for. This is my cramp tincture. Um, I've been taking it again. It's like a homeopathic herbal remedy. Um, I didn't make this one. This one is from my midwives because I didn't, ha I couldn't find one of the ingredients. We were having a herbal issue in like, some of the herbs have been harder to find this winter. Um, anyway, I didn't need any, like I took some right after birth and then I took some preemptively like two doses in the afternoon and evening of the first day and then I didn't feel like I needed it so I didn't take any more and then tonight um this evening I felt like I needed it again so I've taken it a couple times probably like four times now you take it before you start nursing or whenever you start to feel cramps I also have a hot water bottle just to like really help my uterus um it's not that bad it's just because he's been cluster feeding my uterus is really contracting a lot because he's eating probably like at least every hour right now um but then he nurses for like you know 20 to 30 minutes and then he's done and then we burp him and I change his bum and then we start all over again a few minutes later so um that's really working my uterus but again it's things like that where it's like yes it's challenging because it's very demanding right now but it's making my uterus shrink better and it's making you learn to breastfeed faster and it means the good milk is going to come in soon right yeah hi oh i love when he's awake let me see if i can show I'm gonna say hi to the big, to the, the internet that's been waiting to meet you. Hi. <laughs> what is that thing, hey? You say hi to the world? Hi, world. He is not bruised or anything. Like, he's so perfect. His head is perfectly round. He had no bruising, no discoloration, no marks, no nothing. Absolutely stunning. Hey, my little wise soul. Our little sun baby. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I hope this is good footage because I'm just staring at his face, not my camera. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully this footage and everything has been okay. It's a bit challenging because like I have an idea in my head of what I want to film and what I want to get out to you guys. And I don't know if it's um, translating in all these clips because I'm still just like, I have all the raw footage. From the oh, are we going to try and poop? from the birth and everything that I've been collecting and just I've just been filming whatever I feel like filming and that's kind of how these vlogs have been pieced together by now by the time you're seeing this um oh 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 bless you sir oh wow and a yawn that's a lot of action at once you do a great job of that good job yeah I don't know so, like, I don't know what these vlogs will turn out looking like, because right now I'm just filming whatever I want to capture, because everybody's like, I really appreciate everybody's like, oh, don't worry, like, don't rush the vlogs out. I'm not at all. I didn't rush these out. If they, no matter when I get them out, if I get them out, like, tomorrow, I don't think I'm going to, but um, <laughs> whenever the vlogs start coming out, like, I don't feel rushed about this at all. I don't feel forced to film or anything, like, but I'm so grateful to capture these um, memories and video and not just pictures so like these vlogs mean the world to me so regardless I just feel very lucky to like film them and so that's my motivation behind them it's it's for me <laughs> um but I am happy to share them with all of you too right 
and Christmas is in two days, which is so exciting. So tonight, I'm just going to try and sleep. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching our first 24 hours. It was like a little more than 24 hours because technically he was 24 hours old at 11.18 this morning. But I wanted to film like the day, his first day of life. Yeah. So that's how I, I did that. Um, and hopefully it was interesting. And I'm trying to keep it really real and really... Oh, we're probably going to poop, so excuse any noises. Not we. We are not pooping right now. Just, just he is pooping. <laughs> I'm trying to keep things very real and um, show you, like, just very raw life. Like, I am so proud of my body. I am so in awe of my wonderful body and what it just gave me and what it just did for me and how it grew him so like there's no shame for me um in the squishiness of postpartum or anything and I really just want to make sure I share that part and like you know maybe it's not the most flattering angles of myself when I'm like watching him and I'm showing you guys like you know me grabbing a meal and how I'm making that work with a newborn baby um but I think it's important for a lot of especially new moms to see so hopefully that translates well in video that you guys know that I'm sharing that one for like the memories for me but two just so that um I can just help normalize yeah. that for people yeah yeah but besides the um little bit of cramping this evening I'm still feeling wonderful um I'm so excited I think tomorrow I need to sit down and or sit here and write his birth story out all the details so I don't forget because I will do a video eventually sitting down talking about his birth and giving you guys a full like play-by-play -play perspective um for everybody that wants to hear that and who likes birth stories and who likes all of those nitty-gritty details I'll be sharing one of those so I'm gonna try and write it down while it's fresh in my mind and while I can talk to my midwife and everything and yeah so anyway um I hope you enjoyed we are just in absolute pure bliss. We are just enjoying our little baby moon bubble. Um, if you don't know why I always say baby moon, it just refers to like the first moon of having a baby. It's like the first month postpartum, really. It's just like this magical little haze. It's called a baby moon. <laughs> um, so we are just enjoying and soaking it all in. He's becoming more alert. It's so exciting. So I'm going to keep filming. Um, like I'm going to film tomorrow. And I don't know if it'll be one vlog. Or it needs to blend into two. And then I'll film the Christmas vlog still. And then I'll just give them to you guys. As I can. Um, so you guys will probably be seeing. Like the Christmas vlog later. Because I kind of want to do this in order. Because not only is it like. The birth vlog is super exciting, but um, it's kind of cr obviously chronologically documenting um, our first days postpartum, even on Christmas. So that's the plan with that. Um, you might get the birth vlogs sprinkled out since I'm going to break them up a little bit. I'm going to give you guys like a pretty birth vlog with music that you would have already seen. And then I don't know if you've seen it yet, but I'm going to do um, then like all of the footage I vlogged for you on my when or on his birthday and that's when I'm gonna keep like a lot of the raw footage from the birth and it's gonna be really long it probably is already out by now by the time you're seeing this so anyway I'm gonna go change this boy's bum and give him some more milk and then hopefully we can lay down and maybe I can get a little bit of sleep um and the other boy behind the camera <laughs> hopefully he'll go to sleep too um but I really hope you enjoyed this first 24 hours with our brand new baby Thank you so much, everybody, for all of the beautiful well wishes. I am trying to keep up with all of them. Um, if I didn't physically respond and I just gave you a heart, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm claustrophobic like crazy. Um, and I don't want to spend too much time on my phone. So just know that I love you guys all so much. And I'm so appreciative of just all of the amazing, amazing well wishes. And just love and support you guys have poured onto us through this whole journey. I'm so excited to start this new chapter and share with you guys. And just 
share as much of the baby story if you don't like baby spam because that's all it's gonna be <laughs> um anyway uh thank you so much for watching you guys and we will see you in the next video bye now. Thank you.